What's going on, y'all? It's your boy CD, Chloe's dad, from the Undergated Podcast, brought to you guys by the Undergated Network. And today, it is episode one, track one of CD's playlist, um, where we sit down and talk manga, manhwa, anime, and everything else in between. Um, we'll review shows, um, talk about chapters of manga, and, you know, just shoot the shit about our favorite shows and, you know, what um, I'm reading, listening to, watching, and hopefully we can create a cool little playlist of... 90s, 2000s, uh, romance, mm, sports, shonen jump type list of stuff that you know that we like. So tune in. So we real short weekly episodes where we can just you know talk about a few shows and stuff that I'm reading and answer some questions that you guys might have about some stuff. So let's get to it. The first one we're going to be talking about is the Fable. The Fable is something I just picked up a couple weeks ago, and wow, it is a game changer. I've been reading and watching manga um, for 24 plus years, and um, there are certain things that you find that really just make you like excited. And this is something I found and instantly fell in love with. Um, so The Fable is about an assassin duo who their boss lays off for a year. He tells them, hey, I want you guys to pack it up. You've hit your quota. I want you to go live skate free um, in Japan and there's one stipulation you can't kill anyone you can do whatever you want here's a, a whole bunch of money but the one thing is you can't kill anyone now the fable um, he's this famed assassin he's kind of like the John Wick of Japan he is known for either shooting people in their head or their throat one shot one kill and getting out of the way um, other than that they don't really know anything about him um, his partner on their hand is kind of like his driver she is Mm, interesting in herself um, but we figure that out later in, into the book so uh, the story drops you off with the two characters meeting with their boss like I said he lays them off and then you see them transitioning to their new life as brother and sister uh, in a Yakuza home so right off the back it gets interesting because um, the Yakuza don't know who these guys are they just know that they're these famed assassins so they uh, want to test it and uh, the, the main character of the fable, he is hilarious because he knows he's this crazy assassin, but he's really trying to live by this um, this rule of not killing anyone. So he goes he goes out of his way to make it known that he could kill you in six seconds, but he's not going to. Um, and in this story, you, you kind of see his character development from this guy who's only known for killing. And you see him go from just that to making friends, to getting a job, to trying to live his normal life to the best of his ability. But someone always is trying to make him go back into his assassin ways. If you couldn't tell by the clips, you could also tell Fable has a really interesting art style. Um, it looks like an almost grittier, older type manga, but uh, based in newer type time. So if you're looking at it, you're like, man, this might have something that came out in the 90s, but um, you'll, you'll see him wrapping mask off by future or, you know, we're talking about this game or this this sporting event that happened. So you can kind of tell it's like real times. And like I said, it also touches on COVID. So I love an anime or a manga that, you know, is present time where I can really relate to. So it's awesome. So you might ask, how can you catch the fable? Currently, there is no anime, unfortunately, for it. Um, Actually, that's not too bad. I, I wouldn't even mind not seeing this in an anime form because I think it's so well written that um, I don't want an anime to try to ruin this for me. It's it's almost a perfect story. Um, depending how the ending goes, it could go either way at this point, but um, it, it's something that I high, hold in high regard, so I, d I don't need an anime messing this up. Um, there are two live-action movies, I believe, so far. Um, post a clip here of it looks pretty funny if i can find it find it english dubbed I'll, or english subbed i'll definitely check, check it out um but as far as i know it's just manga form or comic like i said hard to find but if you can find it out there it's definitely a collector's item in my eyes i'd see so if you can find it save it if you find it for a good price let me know because i'm avidly looking for it the complete set of it so far um like i said first course 250 chapters you can read that online, however you guys read your manga. Just look up the fable. Um, part two is out now, 50 chapters. Um, I did read somewhere that it's gonna be ending in the next few volumes, so not too much fable left. So if you're waiting for it to finish, wait for it to finish and check out the complete run. Um, but if you're like me and you gotta stay up to date, it comes out um, 
every couple of months, honestly, they, a lot of places don't simul, simul scribe it or whatever, you know, but um, check it out when it does hit your online sources. I think Fable really um, does well is development of characters. Um, Fable has a wide cast of characters. They pop in and out of the story, but the author does a really great job of explaining who they are, giving them a backstory. So when they come in, um, they're important. Each character plays a role in Fable becoming who he is and almost normalizing him as a citizen. Um, there are some characters that cross his path that he deals with in a way that they might not make it back in the story, but there's also a couple of characters that he deals with and he gives them a second chance um, at life <laughs> because he isn't killing them off, off the bat. So the Fable really has a wide variety of cast of characters and the, my favorite part about the cast of characters is you can almost find something that you relate to in all of them. It's a real eclectic bunch of people and I think anyone reading the story can tell that um, the, the author put out a lot of time. So why should you read The Fable? Because man, it's an awesome manga, dope, dope, dope story, and it's, it's something I haven't seen before. There's plenty of Yakuza, plenty of assassin animes and mangas out there, um, but this manga, the way it weaves the story in between the two and, and walks this line, I've never seen it done before. And like I said, it's it's one of the funniest things I've read. And it's like a realistic funny. I don't like something that's super out there that's, that's supposed to make you laugh. Coop, this is a, this really reminds me of Coop from the pod. He he hates stuff that you know, he knows it's supposed to make him laugh. Like they put that in there. This stuff is placed, like, just fits in the story so well that I can't help but laugh. So um, the story, the characters, the dialogue, the, the storytelling, and just the way it's written all makes this manga a top tier and i guarantee if you pick it up um within that first five chapters you're hooked man like i said i picked this thing up and i couldn't put it down i read it 250 chapters straight through and it was amazing i feel like a lot of times i find myself struggling through a chapter just to keep up just to say i've read it so in case so i can stay current and stuff but um, with this i was just so looking forward to the next chapter that was going to see you know what was going to happen next in the story that um, it was just a blast to read. So I really hope you guys take the time out of your day and you know, check out the fable. Um, unfortunately, I haven't been able to find hard copies. They do sell them on eBay. Um, you can see it in this link here or here. But um, I haven't been able to find them a physical copy without like you know going on eBay or shopping online. So I am on the hunt for those. I might break down and buy them because these are something I'm going to want to have in my collection. Like I said, they are now um, the fable is actually a top three manga in, in my category so i wanted to start the um my show off with something special and then since this being such such a new one that i found that i wanted to share with you guys um next week on cd's playlist it, maybe we'll take it back i'm thinking uh you know what's what started me so we're gonna go hit up some classic 90s anime and mangas that um i think have been forgotten in time so tune in next week cd's playlist don't forget to check out coop's corner on tuesdays um we undergate a pod every Wednesday. You guys have been tuning on to that, so I appreciate you. And coming soon, um, maybe advance to Austin on Thursdays. We'll see. But um, it's your boy CD, Chloe's dad from the Undergated Podcast. Never underrated, always undergated. <laughs>